Hey guys, welcome back to another follow-up video of Evolution X from Solar with me, Note 8. So we are using a latest build of Evolution X, which is 10.5, based on Android 15. So I have been using this build few days now. It is working well, but there are few issues which I have noticed. So as you can see here, Android 15 Evolution X version is 10.5. Security patch level is 5th of April 2025. So it is a latest build. And the setting UI is still pretty much same. And there are a few things new I have noticed. First of all, in the setting UI, you can see modes button. So you can go to do not disturb mode or back time or game dashboard. And also you can create your own. So as you can see here. And in the evolver section, there are a few things new actually. So in the miscellaneous section, there are a few things I have noticed like height up list, height developer status. So these things are pretty useful when you are using a bank application or something which is secure. So in that case, they are pretty useful and few other things as you can see here like ignore windows secure flags and few other things in the component spoofing we do get google photos unlimited storage but by default it's still turned off you have to enable it and we have snapchat spoof and few other things and also enable pirate game spoof so that is also available if you want that i don't find it useful that much but available in the theme section they have removed few things from here but most of the useful features still available here booth animation i always change it to sign event mode you can change it screen animation and few other things are available and in the lock screen section we do get now bar and now bar works really well so if i double click here as you can see in the lock screen you can see the now bar and if you are using aod you can see the now bar there too so you have to enable it so that's all what we are getting here nothing much pretty much all the features available in terms of network, internet and mobile data, working perfectly fine. Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi also working perfectly fine, no issue. Apps, notification, there is nothing new here. Sound and vibration working. As you can see here, so everything is available. And part app volume control is also available. It is available from before actually. And more section as I said, display section we do get adaptive brightness and everything. Double tap to sleep, double tap to work, all those things are working. Wallpaper and style still pretty much similar more lock skin option and if you want aod you can turn it on from here as you can see if i turn on and aod is working and you can see now bar too but you can't interact with now bar when it is in aod mode but on the lock skin you can interact with it as you can see here so aod is available and there are a few other things available here and in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well here Battery backup is good, but still we are not getting fast charging option. Most of the customer actually don't really come with fast charging option. I don't really know why, but we are not getting it. But there is issue with charging. So if I connect my charger, as you can see, if I lock my device and connect my charger. So the display will flash as you can see here. It is and if I unlock it. When it is connected to the charger, it is doing something like this, as you can see here. This flashing doing it automatically actually so I don't really know what's going on but as you can see here if I unlock it now again it will go so as you can see it is doing this kind of thing and also the device is heating up very fast when you are charging like this I don't really know what is the issue but the issue is there so it is pretty as you can see here so there is issue with charging as you can see it's quite difficult to unlock the device when you are charging if i unplug now as you can see here it is working perfectly fine now so there is issue with charging maybe in the next build it will be fixed but as for now this is not a build to use in the system setting we do get Xiaomi parts option if you want to calibrate your display you can do that security and privacy both face and fingerprint unlock available and working perfectly fine so as you can see here fast working and fingerprint unlock is quite good but face unlock is slower side as android 15 build we do get private space in the more security option we do get few other things as you can see here screen capture restriction anti theft protection all those things are available so that's it actually nothing much here and uh, notification panel you can customize it up to your liking i did it actually in terms of application as i am using a gfs build we do get few google application here and 
in terms of camera the camera is working perfectly fine no issue with that camera works no issue and gcam is also working so camera is working perfectly fine in terms of google photos as i said google photos unlimited storage is available but unfortunately the magic editor is still not working i don't really know when they're going to fix this issue but it's not working so if i try it right now so let me back up that picture try now got it so if i circle and it crashed there so the magic editor issue is still there in terms of google play protect certification we do get google play protect certification so you can use bank application without any kind of issue bank apps working perfectly fine and whatsapp also working perfectly fine i did make phone call video call and everything i tried it it is working in terms of calling i tried calling and volt Bo wi-fi both of them working and recording also working so as you can see here if i speaker and so recording is also working so overall the rom is pretty good animations are good everything works really well as you can see here pretty smooth no issue in terms of gaming also you are getting pretty good performance as expected from this rom so if you are someone who play games you can do that but as i said there is an issue with this rom like charging issue and you are not getting fast charging option still and also the device does heat up when you are charging so these are few issues so i would say skip this build but still if anyone wants to try this build i will put the rom link in the description below so that's all about evolution x 10.5 for redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one